So, another Peggy 16, and this time we have Horizon Zero Dawn, a title that I actually reacted to um, at E3. So, check that out if you want to, although I'm, I'm not sure I have the subtitles ready yet. And here we are. Finally with Paris Games. Because uh, me talking English is something new. And at that time we only showed the behind closed and doors strange a number for me. of the media members. But we've never shown it publicly. And finally, we are gonna do that here today. And we don't have a trailer have per se, but a gameplay walkthrough. Everything that you can see here, but we're on a quest. Now we've hidden that quest UI and that quest interface, but one of those two tribes that you saw previously in the trailer. One of them has given you a quest, and it's a quest of critical importance. And that quest is to get a very specific resource. It's a resource from the canisters that you can find on the back of this herd that we call the grazers. Now, why do you need this resource? Why does this tribe need it? What is happening in this world? Those are still things that we're going to keep a mystery. But you will desperately need to retrieve this because it's a critical part of it. And I happening. hope they keep this thing a mystery until you and play it yourself because for the very first these are kind of things I want to I want to explore and, and I want to find out while I play this game. You can start to see how and the game is really You can to be pretty sure through. I'm going to play this game. You can see in the top middle part of the screen <laughs> that there is a compass. Now we've hidden our quest markers and our quest objectives. And we'll talk about a quest here in just a moment, but you can see a compass certainly denotes an open world style of adventure. In the upper right hand corner of the screen, what you can see is the very beginning of a level and an experience bar. So you can start to see the RPG elements start to seep in. In the lower left hand corner of the screen, you can actually see our health bar. It's unusual, it's painted like an arrow. Some of the tribal influences are certainly coming into the UI and HUD, and even though the art's not final, you can expect that those tribal influences will stay. You've seen a number of locales inside of the trailer for Horizon Zero Dawn. You've seen some desert, you've seen some snow, and of course you see here the forest. And currently Aloy is crouched in what we call some stealth grass or some tall grass. Stealth plays an incredibly important part of Horizon Zero Dawn. In fact, you can see the UI element for this. Right underneath the compass is a little circle. That is, in fact, a stealth oh. indicator. And so Aloy will need to wait for the right moment in order to introduce that stealth attack. <laughs> Sorry, little one. So we mentioned that there are a couple of RPG elements, right? One Sorry, of little one. You just saw, especially if you've got the keen eyes or if we zoom <coughs> in on it, is the number eight two five that just popped up. I'm not sure so that, that those is incredibly things can wide, feel. It denotes that there are. But maybe they can. I don't know. Hiding behind the hood. I don't that know. That is a damage value. We call that floating combat text, and you can see that number pop up. But now we've actually <coughs> also gotten into the loot menu. Now we've described previously how important the machine parts are to the world of Horizon Zero Dawn, but here we're showing you some of those parts. In fact, that flame coil that you can see on screen is one of the elements that's required to build explosive arrows. Now, machine parts are incredibly important. The economy, the entirety of the world of Horizon Zero Dawn is built around these machine parts. So here you can see Aloy picking up what is essentially a couple of health plants. Now those will fill up your health if you get low, uh, but the important thing here is actually what they represent. You will want to explore every nook and cranny of this open world. The ancient city, the tops of mountains, rivers and valleys, all kinds of settlements, because you never know what you'll find. Well, Rural it's, it's not like I don't exploring like exploring in games. I really game love exploring in games. Rural Just game like I said in Rural my reaction to the wild gameplay walkthrough, but... What Aoi is going to do here, she's going to use... This game sounds like it takes up a lot of time that I don't have. It can be used have. as a defensive countermeasure, but it's mostly used as a preventative measure. She knows, because she spent so much time with these machines, that these razors are incredibly skittish. That they will run off at the first sight of her or the first sight of noise. And she knows that if she's going to complete this quest, she's got to get those canisters. So for her, the best way to make sure this happens is to set these explosive tripwires down and try to find a way to force the grazers into the traps. So that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to set down a couple of these traps and we're going to try and create the distraction. So actually knowing your enemy is really important. Well, it seems like it's really important. Machines in Horizon Zero Dawn do have herd-like activities. Wow. And here we have a species defending itself, these grazers, allowing a couple of them to <laughs> burn by <laughs> Bam! 
Bam! Exploded. This is the mighty thunder jar. One the mighty the thunder jar. The size differential between a Did I hear that right? The mighty thunder jar. Four meters long, and it's ten meters wide. Wow. It has ninety-three destructible armor plates, each with its own health value. Wow. And it has two hundred seventy-one animations and sixty-seven VFX. It has twelve attacks. It's five hundred fifty thousand polygons. And so, what we're taking a look at here is actually some of these strategic and tactical elements of a fight. That Aloy will want to think about when she gets engaged with the Thunder. That is amazing. So we're going to take a look right here at so the much fact that there is thinking in an action game is quite nice. And you're taking a look at the lake here. That orange muscle that you can kind of see underneath there, uh, that is also a weak point. If you're able to hit that, you're able to do four. Probably times not easy for a lot of enemies. Too. Now the question is, how would you actually take off that armor? But I like it. Now we give so. you a couple of options there, but the best option is to use the machine itself. So, we're taking a look at the disc launcher right now, and you saw you earlier in the E3 trailer that you can shoot off the machine. Uh, you can shoot off the disc launcher, but you didn't know why we did it. The reason why we did it is because it takes a lot of arrows to knock off a Thunderjaw's armor plate. But if you can knock off its disc launcher, you can pick the disc launcher up and use its own weapons against it. Wow. And that's one of the best ways to take down the so this is loud. Fighting with Thunderjaw is an awe-inspiring experience. We talked previously about the fact that it has twelve attacks. A number so of it's attacks got that you're seeing now. You had stealth. It's not um, an exploring an exploring an open world. This launcher attack, shooting off those. Uh, a strategic, uh, strategic, strategic, strategic. Absolutely. Can't that makes me pronounce the word. I, I don't know why. Close to so you're going to want to take off this distance. But if you are, you, you know, now, it still has using a strategy, and a strategy so this uh, to fight your enemies. My goodness. It still has a huge amount of attacks. So what Aloy is going to try and do here is try to find a way to tie the machine down. I'm good at understanding English. I'm good at writing English, but I don't talk it very often. That's why I didn't think about talking English when I did my E3 reactions. Although, of course, international audience, so kind of important. So that was the playthrough of the behind closed door session. But damn, that looks we great. There are coming a lot, We're gonna show a you something whole lot of good games for which I will not have time for. Which is sad, but damn, that looks great.